Hello, I'm Luke Mund and I'm the digital regional coach for the Southeast region. And today I'm going to teach you all about folders and Seesaw. Folders are a great way to stay organized as a teacher and to communicate with our families and students and help them stay organized as well. So to get started with folders, we need to go up into our settings and our settings are always in this little gear right here at the top right of our homepage. I'm going to scroll down then to our folder section so you can see we have two things we need to work on. So to manage folders, you should set up your folders before you start setting up activities. You can add them in later, but it just helps to get everything organized in the beginning. So you can do this a couple different ways. You can do it by content area or subject. So you can see how I have literacy, math, social studies. Looks like I also need to add my science in here. So I'll just click add folder and add this in real quick. It's easy as that to make a new folder. So now I have my four core subjects and I can add in anything else. The other option is to organize by the date or day of the week or by an entire week on its own. So you can say, I want to upload all of my stuff for this entire week and let my students work at their own pace, or I can break it down by day. I will say that most students find it more manageable and elementary to work on things day by day, but if you choose to do by week, that's fine. You also can do both. So you can say, here's the science work for today, Wednesday, and, or put a date on there. You can tag it as both for your folders. So those are my folders now. I need to make sure my students can see and access the folders. So I'm gonna click right here where it says teachers only right now, and I'm gonna change that to students and teachers. This allows my students to add to the folders themselves to see that and really be able to interact. Now my folders are all right here on my class journal. So this is where all the student work is, is my class journal. And if I click the little folder here, you can see my folders. I don't have anything in my folders right now, but I would then be able to click on literacy and see all of my literacy lessons. How do I add an activity to my folder? Well, you're gonna go through your normal activity creation guide. So you'd say, here's my activity that I created earlier. We have a previous video on creating activities. And when I go to assign this activity, I'm going to assign it to this class but I want to edit students' folders and skills. This allows me to individually assign my work, which is great at differentiation for this. We also have a video on differentiation in Seesaw. But what I really wanna do is my folders. So this is my math work, and let's just say that this is coming up for my, my Wednesday work coming up. So I will check both of these folders for this assignment, and then I'm ready for my students to have that. So folders are easy as that, helps you stay organized, it tags everything together for you, and makes your students and families stay organized as well. Thank you very much.